RG. That was a fantastic the, the Democrats oh, I really enjoyed it. The liver was cooked perfect, and it's time for some coffee. What type of coffee was it? Can I have a demi tasse? Or no, no. How about a cafe room? Cafe room. Well, you have an in interesting language. How about espresso? Espresso. So you want an espresso? Thing? I do yeah. want espresso. Do you want a single or double espresso? I a single espresso. Single espresso. Okay. I'm, I'm making a fresh espresso, but I also made before that I made a different espresso. We're just single. And I want to serve it to you. Interesting. Why? Why did you put a lemon peel on my espresso? I'm asking myself all the time. Everybody asks me for a lemon peel on their espresso. That was still deeply, I mean, for a long time. I want to answer. And thank goodness that you asked that question. Because I am the only one who has the answer. And you are the only one. Please, can you explain to us? Prior to World War II, a lemon peel was never served with an espresso in Italy. In fact, serving it today in the United States is the only place you can get a lemon peel with your espresso. Only in the United States. You can go to Australia, you can go to Italy, you can go to France, you can go all over the world and you will never get a lemon peel with your espresso. And in fact, it is very common to be only in New York City. Hmm. So if you travel outside the country, you're outside uh, within our country, you'll find out that sometimes you won't get a lemon peel. But in New York City, every fine restaurant will serve a lemon peel with their espresso, demi tasse, or cafe roll. Mm -hmm. Now, why, you ask? That's, that's what I want to find out. What would be the reason that prior to World War II, you would not have a lemon peel with your espresso, but subsequent to World War II, there is a lemon peel served with your espresso, only in the United States. But it originated in Rome. Rome, okay? Please explain to me, I really don't know. Most people would think that they take the lemon peel, turn it, and put it into the coffee. But that doesn't make sense. Why would you put something bitter into something bitter? Makes sense. Does it make sense? Does it? But Even it makes Google sense. says that it helps the bitterness yeah, to mellow down, which is the opposite. So, and why only in the United States would you put a lemon peel in an espresso? Perhaps the coffee was not good. And perhaps you needed to <clears throat> make the oil from the lemon go into the coffee because the coffee's bitterness was not good. Oh. And it, the bitterness is what caused... That's not the reason. Uh -huh. So there's multiple reasons people feel that this lemon peel deserves to be with this cup of coffee. Uh -huh. Why not a cappuccino? Why not a regular cup of coffee? Why an espresso? And the answer is simple. During World War II, there was a water shortage in Italy. <clears throat> and as people would come in and get demi tasse, not espresso, and not cafe roma, demi tasse, there was no water to clean the cup. The proprietor of the coffee shop would take lemon peels and clean the outside of the cup. Uh -huh. That was already used on a prior patron because there was no water. Uh -huh. And the demi tasse would be poured yes, 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 yes. into the cup. And hence the reason for the lemon peel within the cup. I just want to tell you that this is a myth, but it is as good as myth as all the other myths.
as to why there's a lemon peel with respect to espresso in the United States of America. Wow. See? That's a great answer. I just find out. It's a, how, how many years now? Maybe 60, 70, 80 years. Since we World know. War II. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And Thank you, Mike. It was a pleasure. I love the, uh, the information came to you. So now I know how to answer to other customers. So just to recap, it's all a myth. It's all a myth.